Hello YouTube, it's me Harry Keese here and I'm just, I know I've already made an overlook of a Chevy Equinox, but I found two of them here that I really like. I'm at Rundy Chevrolet, Buick GMC in Platteville, Wisconsin. And I'm just gonna go over what I love about the Chevy Equinox. As you can see, what I love here is the front end here. And if you look at these headlights, they're just, I mean, they're just really sleek and sporty and and underneath here they got that got the fog lights down here and I just love the grill here I mean it's not too chromey and, and it's just got a right amount of it just has the right amount of chrome to it just from my point of view but I just love these headlights you know, I just love the front end to it for beginners. I love about this Equinox here. And plus this particular model has all wheel drive. It's got these side mirror lights. And the interior is really nice too. Yeah, this one's a little dirty, so. I love the black cloth seats there. And plus what I love is the gas mileage too. 25 city, 30 highway with a combined MPG of 27 miles a gallon. And what I love too are the back seats. They recline back as you can see there. And you can actually recline them back and that you have a center armrest. My Jeep doesn't have that. In my Jeep, you're basically sitting upwards. Deal with it. But just with the back of an Equinox, and make it a lot better where you can actually recline back. You can actually recline back a little bit. And... And it makes it more comfier on long road trips shoes but what I love too is this red color I just love the way it shines you got that touch screen there you get Sirius XM radio voice command and all that good stuff and there's your blind spot Manages your blind spot. Anyway, it's just sleek, stylish, and it's affordably priced. I mean, I might get a used one of these. I mean, I found a lot of used Equinoxes like these all-wheel drives with like like less than twenty thousand miles on them. And they're priced in the lower twenty thousand dollars. Which means that I might get one of these for a used vehicle after my Jeep in like in a couple years maybe. I mean the new Ford Rangers are a little bit expensive so I really don't know if I can really afford one. But we'll see when the time comes I guess. So that sums up. I just summed up of what I love about the Chevy Equinox and why it's one of my favorite SUVs. I'm signing off for now.